and Atlantic salmon go through many transformations throughout their lives. The first stage begins with the egg. Adult Atlantic salmon bury their fertilized eggs under a foot of gravel and nests, known as reds. During that time, they go into the eyed egg stage, a distinct eye visible through the eggshell and indicates the early formation of fish. The egg hatches in April and May before making it to the Alvin stage. Alvin is the second stage of a salmon life, who spend their days in gravel's nests from where they were born. When the salmon egg is ready to hatch, the baby salmon will break free from the egg's soft shell, retaining the yolk as a nutrient-rich sac that hangs below its body. At this point, only 4,500 fish have survived, and about 15 or 35% of these elvins survive long enough to see the fry stage. At the fry stage, the baby salmon that have absorbed their yolk sacs and have emerged from the gravel are ready to feed. Fry are not strong enough to swim upstream, so they drift downstream until they find calm pools where they can feed. There, they defend a small feeding territory from other fry. They catch land insects that fly close to the water or fall from plants hanging over the water. Almost 90% of all fry die from predators, disease, or lack of food, and most of them grow from about 2.5 to 4.5 centimeters. In this point of the evolution, only 650 fish have made it to this stage. Par are only two inches long and are camouflaged. To survive, their body changes shape and color. Their gills and organs also adjust. For two to three years, the par grow in fresh water before they can enter the ocean. About 200 of the 8,000 fish have made it this far. In spring, large numbers of smolts, one to three years old, leave rivers and streams to migrate into the rich feeding grounds. They undergo a physiological pre-adaptation to life in seawater by smolting. This is evident by changes in their appearance as they become silvery and swim with the current instead of against it. There are also internal changes in the salt regulating mechanisms of the fish. This adaptation prepares the smolt for its journey to the sea. Here they feed primarily on fish such as capelin, herring, and sand eel. As they grow quickly, fewer predators are able to feed on them. Their rate of growth is therefore critical to survival. At this point, 50 smolts have made it to the, into the stage. The adult salmon is the last stage of growth. The average size of the Atlantic salmon is 28 to 30 inches and between 8 and 12 pounds. Usually only two of the 8,000 eggs survive long enough for this final stage and are ready to breed again. How to tell the difference between a brook trout and a salmon par? Salmon par jawline extends to the midpoint of the eye. They have no spots on their dorsal fin and the adipose fin is typically grayish. Also, they have a very forked tail. The brown trout is a colorful fish with red and black dots along its sides and are very similar in appearance to salmon par, except their jawline extends to the posterior of the eye. Spots are usually evident on the dorsal fin. The adipose fin is tinted with red and their tail is more rounded and then less forked.